when you're setting goals, there are two kinds of goals to consider. A lot of times we just think in terms of, oh, I'm going to do a goal. But there's process goals and outcome goals. Outcome goals are goals of what you want to achieve. Process goals are goals of what you want to do. For example, I'm self-employed. And when I am hunting for clients, I could set a goal that says, I want to get 10 clients this week. And that's a wonderful goal, except for the fact it's not under my control. Because whether I can get a client depends upon my competition. It depends upon whether I happen to get the right number of prospects. Lots and lots of things it depends on. What I can do, however, is choose a process that I believe will get me to that goal. So my process is, if I want 10 clients, I want to make 20 phone calls a day to people out of my prospect database. And as long as I make those 20 phone calls a day, I know that I'm doing the best that I can possibly do. Whether or not I end up with 10 clients, I can't control that. But I can control the part of what's the process I use to get there. So I'll pick up the phone, make 20 phone calls a day, and hopefully by the end of the week, I'll have landed my 10 clients. If I haven't, then I can go back and review my process and say, gee, maybe that's the wrong process goal. And that's when I can work with my manager or work with an outside consultant or someone to understand why what I'm doing isn't working. But by making my goal be a process goal, it gives me guidance as to what to do on a day-to-day -day basis. Whereas if I had made it just an outcome goal, I would have no idea if I didn't reach it why or who or how, or even if I'm making progress on a given day. Because if four days have gone by and I don't have the clients, I don't know if the problem is my process or if the problem is the goal. Whereas if it's the process goal, then I can be right on and know whether or not I'm meeting it.